Okay, all right, hi guys. Uh, this is some simple examples here of the TTL logic and um, just the transistors. It's not really implemented this way, but in general, BJTs can be pretty fast. So um, um, there are certainly applications of BJTs mm. in logic circuits mm -hmm. here. All right, so how do we analyze it? Uh, the truth table, you guessed it. A, B, and what happens to V out? All right, again, 0, 0, 1, 1 for A, 0, 1, 0, 1 for B. Okay, so uh, when you apply a high, and 1, by the way, is going to mean like 5 volts, and 0 is going to mean just 0 volts, right? So let's start with uh, 0, 0. Both of these are going to be turned off, right? So with zero, zero, um, this transistor and this transistor are both in cutoff, okay? Uh, and therefore, uh, just no current flows, and therefore V out is gonna be like in a regular inverter, it's gonna be high, right? So V out is high. Okay, what about if, um, um, w what about if one of the transistors is on? Well, if one of the transistors is on, um, say in this case uh, uh, B, we apply high voltage, turn on one transistor, but this one is still uh, essentially an open, uh, behaves like an open circuit in many ways. We never turned on this PN junction, and so no current is going to flow, and um, again, the output is going to be Okay. All right. Now, what's going to happen if we turn them on in reverse? Um, if A is turned on, but B is turned off. But if B is turned off, then again, no current can flow through B, and these two A and B are connected in series. So if no current flows through one, no current flows through the other. So the situation is the same as before. One and only when we turn them both on, okay, only when we turn them both on with five volts each, then current will flow through both of them, right, and uh, through this resistor and drop in the voltage uh, across the resistor and um, pull in V out to the sum of the two saturation voltages here. So maybe if it's 0.2 volts to keep this one saturated, 0.2 volts, maybe it's going to be 0.4 volts, it's still our logic zero. Okay? And there you go. That's another NAND gate. Okay? All right. So what happens here? All right, so zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Okay, maybe we've developed some ability to uh, um, to look at it. Um, v, um, right, let's see. So when, uh, when both of the inputs are low, uh, when both of the inputs are low, uh, both of these transistors will be in cutoff and no current's going to flow through the VCC, so V out is going to be high. Right. Okay, but what if we turn on one of the transistors? If we just turn on B, then certainly we can have current flowing through B and therefore current flowing um, uh, through VCC. And, you know, the turn on is pretty hard with five volts, and if we properly size those resistors, we can easily drive this BJT to saturation, and V out is just going to be VC set, which is going to be 0.2 volts, which is going to be zero, right? And of course, the same situation is going to be if we reverse the two transistors, turn on one and not the other.
Okay, so that's a zero. Um, if we turn on both of them, hey, you know, even more of a path for the current to flow. So um, we'll have more current even. Uh, but um, really it's going to be like IC set of one plus IC set of the other. But uh, the output is not going to change. It's still going to be VC set. You can convince yourself of that. But anyhow, anyhow, it's a zero. All right. So this uh, gate has a zero as an output when at least one of the inputs is one. Okay. And if you refer to um, the guidance for the gates, you'll find that this is a NOR gate. Okay, and uh, in your notes you have uh, well, some practice, I guess. This is very similar, but you should just uh, think about it. Okay, this is really just kind of another way of drawing um, the same NOR gate. All right, okay, and that's all I have to say on the subject matter. Good luck with your studies.